Hey, I'm Kaz Bracey and this is Tuts Plus. In this short tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use Adobe XD to create an SVG ready arrow graphic. And this is a site design that I've been putting together as part of a course named Code Friendly Design with Adobe XD. I've just finished creating this content section at the top of the site and I wanna add a little tab underneath here with a downward pointing arrow cut out of it. I want that to act as a visual cue to make sure that the visitor knows that there's a whole bunch more content below this section. Adobe XD is not a fully fledged vector editing program, but there's still quite a bit that you can do with it. And by using those vector tools wherever you can, instead of just using a flat bitmap, PNG, or any other type of raster graphic, when you hand this design off to a coder, they're gonna be able to take those vector graphics turn them into SVG, which will make them much more scaling friendly and typically a smaller file size when they're used in the browser. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start by drawing out a circle. We're gonna make it about 85 pixels wide. So just enter that value in manually. Going to get rid of that border, set it to the same color that we've been using as our light color so far. Now what we want is for the circle to be here, but we want this top part to be trimmed off. So what we're going to do is grab the rectangle tool. We're going to draw out another shape and you see how it snaps there at the halfway point. We're going to use this rectangle here to clip the top of our circle. Just drop that border just to make it a bit more clean and obvious what we're doing. So I'm gonna select this rectangle shape, this circle shape, and then up here, you can see we've got these Boolean operators. So Boolean modifiers are just a tool that you can use to take two shapes and have them modify each other in various ways. We are gonna hit this one here, which is subtract, and that's gonna subtract the shape of this rectangle from this circle. So we'll hit that. All right, so now we've got a nice little tab that we're gonna be able to put on the bottom of our plate here. Now we wanna do a similar thing again, another subtraction, but we wanna cut an arrow shape out from inside here. This part is a little bit more fiddly because Adobe XD is designed to be a prototyping tool. It's not designed to be a full on design software, but you can still work with what you have and do some stuff that's pretty cool. So actually I grabbed the pen tool, which works like a pen tool in most vector graphics. I'm actually gonna start with a square because this can make the top section of our arrow. Get rid of that border again. Now I'm gonna use this square and I'm gonna modify it to create an arrow. So just grab the selector tool and just right click it and under path, we can choose convert to path to change this from a predefined shape into a more easily editable path. To get in and be able to edit the nodes that comprise this shape, once it's selected, double click it. Now we can actually access the nodes. Now we're going to zoom in a little bit to make it a bit easier to see. And if we hover over any edge, you can see we've got the option to add an additional point. So we're gonna add an extra point there. We can drag that down to create the point of our arrow. Drag that down a little further. Now we're gonna add another point here and one here, we'll drag these up until we get a snap showing that this point is on the same level as these two. And we'll repeat that here as well. And that gives us a basic arrow shape. And we can actually fine tune that a little bit later. We're gonna talk about refining the absolute positions that you have things like nodes on in a later lesson. But for now, that's gonna get us going. We'll click away to get out of the node selection mode. And now we'll just shrink this down a little bit so that it fits in here a bit more comfortably. And now we can do the same thing that we did to clip off the top of this shape. We'll select our arrow, we'll select our tab, and we'll hit the subtract button. So now we've got this nice arrow cut out inside our tab and we're ready to position it at the bottom of our plate here. 
And to make that arrow shape a little bit more perfect, you can go through and manually position each one of those nodes to make sure that they're aligned perfectly on the pixel grid so that none of them are at a half pixel value or anything along those lines. But that fine tuning notwithstanding, that is how you can create an SVG ready arrow graphic in Adobe XD. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.